Good morning, everybody. I would like to invite you to my presentation. My name is Agnieszka Medinska Jurashek. I'm an assistant professor in Institute of Soil Sciences and Environmental Protection at Wrocław uh, University of Environment and Life Sciences. And I would like to present you uh, a short uh, presentation about soil organic matter and the role of biochar in increasing the soil productivity. I would like to start from the very short interview about the soil organic matter and its role in the um, soil processes. Uh, as we all know, the soil organic matter is the most important part of the soil, uh, important uh, in uh, increasing and developing the soil fertility and uh, increasing the soil um, productivity. Um, the soil organic matter consists of uh, uh, many different uh, elements. Mainly, uh, these are um, organic debris uh, from, the, from, so from uh, uh, plants and, uh, and animals decomposing in soil. Of course, these uh, materials um, are, um, are uh, input to soil through many different processes. Uh, and the organic soil organic matter can be, uh, can be divided into uh, different parts. Uh, the first one is the active organic matter, the one that is decomposed by different groups of uh, uh, decomposers in soil. And uh, from this part, the decomposers get the energy and the uh, nutrients uh, for the metabolic processes. Uh, and the second part is the stable part of organic uh, matter, which is called humus. And this stable form of organic matter is mainly a source or a element that stores different nutrients uh, for plants and different uh, organic substances, which are very relevant for the uh, plant growth and uh, uh, agricultural production. Um, the role of organic matter is, uh, is uh, very, very important. Uh, we know that organic matter uh, plays a crucial role in uh, uh, improving all physical properties of soil, mainly the structure, the porosity, the content of water, the uh, soil uh, capacity for nutrient storage. These are the most uh, important elements that can be uh, improved when soil organic matter is present. Uh, we know also that uh, organic matter and the, the dark color of the material also is very important in increasing the temperature of the uh, upper soil horizons, which is very important uh, in, uh, in accelerating the uh, gr uh, plant growth and um, preventing from, from uh, freezing and uh, other plant problems uh, of young plants that are uh, present in our uh, climatic zone. Uh, and we also know that uh, um, the most important role of um, organic matter is the water storage, which is very important due to the very dry, dry seasons that we have uh, during the summer uh, in European uh, Union countries. Um, the most important chemical uh, properties that can be improved by the soil organic matter is, of course, the soil absorption capacity. So much less uh, of uh, nutrients is lost uh, when the organic matter is present. Uh, we have these buffering systems, which are very important, preventing um, very dynamic changes uh, in a soil solution, uh, which can be uh, which can be harmful for plants. Uh, we also know that uh, organic matter is an important factor that stores the, import, the important, the most important element that stores uh, nutrients and is also a source of the nutrients because uh, during the decomposition, the most of the mineral substances and uh, essential nutrients uh, for plants are released uh, from the organic matter and can be easily uptaken by plants. Uh, and the other, the other very important role is the toxification of uh, soil, uh, when the organic matter is present, the, most of the heavy metals, uh, pesticides, uh, some organic pollutants can be uh, immobilized in the organic, with the organic matter and uh, they are not available for plants, which is very important, uh, talking about safety uh, of the food product. Uh, 
The most important role of organic matter is uh, dedicated to biological activity of soil, and we know that um, uh, organic matter is a source of energy, source of water, source of nutrients for many microorganisms, and uh, the microorganisms solely wouldn't be able to make it without organic matter. We also know that uh, in, uh, the uh, nitrogen cycling is closely related to carbon cycling. So if the carbon is present in soil, the nutrients will be um, put in the cycles uh, by the microorganism and uh, can be easily transferred to the forests which are available for plants, which is very important. You also know that uh, organic matter is important for a habitat as a habitant so uh, when the uh, we have uh, enough of organic matter in soil we will have a lot of uh, soil soil microbe activity which is important for many soil processes uh, so um, the most important uh, uh, the, the most important soil um, soil functions are related to soil biology and um, we have to keep, keep in mind that soil organic matter is a source of uh, habitat, a source of water, a source of nutrients and air for all the microorganisms which drive the processes which are important in, in uh, plant nutrition. And uh, the one that most the world's focus on is the problem of uh, climate mitigation, uh, we know a lot about the, um, the problem that a lot of uh, fertilizer uh, uh, components are lost during the um, uh, gas emission, especially the nitro oxides. And uh, in soils which are rich in organic matter, this problem is uh, mitigated. So the uh, organic matter can play a very important role in gas mitigation, preventing from the climate change problem. Uh, what we have to be aware of that is the difference between the organic uh, fertilization and the mineral fertilization. Mi mineral fertilization only uh, supplies uh, um, plants with nutrients. The organic matter improves and it supplies nutrients, water and energy to all the soil uh, microbial uh, life. So it's very important to put this organic matter in different forms so we can uh, so we can um, uh, drive and uh, accelerate this microbial activity in soil and the other things will just go very very slowly but uh, the cycling of the nutrients will be uh, will be um, sustainable uh, we know that different organic materials can be dedicated in this process. In this talk, I would like to uh, focus on biochar. Biochar is a material which is kind of new. Uh, we know a lot about it, uh, and this knowledge is uh, uh, released in different scientific papers uh, since 10 years. Uh, so we still have a lot of work to do on biochar to see if it's really working or not, or all those uh, scientific papers um, uh, can be can be more universal when we are talking about our climatic zones and, uh, and the soils in uh, in the in Europe. And uh, I would like to start from the very beginning. The biochar is the material that is obtaining during the uh, gasification or pyrolysis or thermal, thermal destruction of the biomass uh, under uh, limited uh, oxygen conditions. Uh, this material is similar to the charcoal. Um, usually uh, and there's a big, big um, uh, capacity, consumption capacity in this material. It's a, it's a high porous material. Uh, which can be um, mainly or should be mainly put in soil as a as a soil additive. Uh, what is very important is linking together two very important uh, issues: how to dispose the uh, organic materials which are produced uh, in organic waste which are produced in our uh, farm farmlands, and with the with making something that is very useful for soil, so soil conditioner. Uh, so this is the link, and uh, it's uh, related to this uh, zero waste uh, policy policy that it's uh, implemented by the European Union.
Now, what is very important, biochar can be made in a very simple ways. So there are very simple reactors or even kilns that can uh, and that biochar can be produced in. Uh, we can have more sufficient or more precise uh, reactors where we can control temperature and the pressure and everything. But actually, it's not necessary. We see very good uh, effects of biochar produced with this very very simple um, simple. Um, production systems. What is another advantage of using biochar or producing biochar is that we can use a lot of different feedstock types for this production and we can use a lot of materials which are waste materials in the uh, agriculture like um, like straw, uh, like cones, cobs and all the other things. Uh, we can use all these materials and produce biochar and uh, also produce energy for the, for uh, energy for for our production, so it's actually to uh, to benefit uh, um, to benefit um, process. Uh, if we would like to talk, what benefits we have when we apply the biochar to soil, we can say the biochar is uh, has a lot of similarities with native organic matter, and the, the processes which are improved by biochar application are very similar to these processes which are derived by from the soil organic matter. Which, me, which makes this material like a mimic material to soil organic matter. Uh, the material is fully natural, uh, so it's another advantage. It contains the, a lot of active, uh, active substances, active organic substances like dissolved organic carbon, which can be, which can interact with the native organic matter, which can uh, interact with the other constituents in soil, which is very important. And it's actually improving a lot of soil properties, the chemical, physical, biological properties. There's a, there's a lot of studies linking the biochar and the carbon sequestration, linking the biochar and the improvement of the native organic matter in soil. We also uh, do a lot of studies on um, uh, use of biochar in mitigating the gas emissions from the land, uh, from the farmlands, uh, or use the biochar in the soil protection. Uh, if I would like to go very briefly what biochar can do in soil, I would have to do that definitely biochar can improve the physical properties of soil. And these properties are the similar properties which are improved by the organic matter, uh, which is very important. So we can improve the soil water retention, we can improve soil properties, uh, porosity, uh, like uh, structure, uh, the soil aggregates, uh, biochar also plays a very important role in soil organic matter protection. So this um, um, material can keep and protect the nitrogen, can protect the carbon, can protect the other nutrients inside or absorb it on the surface of the material, which makes it more stable in soil and prevent from uh, leaching. Uh, what is very important, uh, biochar is also playing a very important role in increasing the soil sorption capacity. So very similar to organic matter. Uh, and this helps to store um, more nutrients and prevent uh, the leaching of nutrients when, when the uh, mineral fertilization is added. Uh, and it's also regulating the soil pH uh, as an alkaline material. Works, uh, it works a little bit like uh, uh, similar to the liming. And the first, uh, the first uh, change that is usually visible after very short after batch applications increase of soil pH, which also regulates the release and the immobilization of different nutrients or toxic elements as well in the soil. Um, we can talk a little bit about the soil fertilization. Actually, the biochar is not a very good fertilizer. It depends on the process, depends on the temperature feedstocks type. So there are many differences and many dependence if the, this material will be good for the soil fertilization. Uh, it's more like a material that can manage and help to improve the uh, soil um, uh, fertilization effectiveness. So it's increasing the effectiveness of the uptake of different nutrients by plants or storage of these nutrients if it's necessary. But as a material, it's not. Um, it's full of different elements, micro and micronutrients. But uh, unfortunately, these elements are mostly not bioavailable in a, in a short time for for the uh, plants. Uh, what is very important, the biochar has a very similar 
uh, function in soil as native organic matter in uh, increasing the microbial activity. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, studies showing that uh, that uh, biochar application to soil improve the soil microbiological uh, life, increasing the number of uh, microbes and the activity of the microbes and um, microbes which are very important, for example, for the uh, nitrogen nitrification. Uh, it also has a good um, it, it itself. It is it, due to the high porosity of the material. It can store a lot of water, a lot of nutrients, and uh, be like a home shelter for the for the microbes in soil, which is very important. Uh, so we actually see the increase of the bi microbiological activity and biological activity in soils when biochar is added, and it's kind of, it's a very important uh, issue. Uh, what about the effects on the plant growth and the yields? Uh, actually, this uh, this part is not well recognized in our climatic zone. We have a lot of studies in tropical climate on different types of soils in different um, crop species uh, compared to the to the arc, uh, to the European crop system. So the, it's, hard to, it's hard to compare the data, but uh, there is a lot of uh, trials on biochar going on in Europe, and we have the first results showing that actually it's increasing also the um, uh, yields and the, uh, makes um, improvements in soil, which are important for the growth of typical crops and cereals uh, in European Union as well, like maize or core uh, maize or um, peas or, or soya beans. Uh, and we also see a very good effects on um, horticular plants, uh, increasing the yields of uh, different um, fruits and vegetables. And actually, biochar can be also is, uh, used as a, a substitute of, uh, of, um, of typical growing mediums used in horticulture hydroponic uh, productions. Production. Uh, and if I would like to summarize the effect of biochar, I have to say that biochar or native organic matter or exogenic organic matter, which is added to soil, has a very important, uh, place a very important role in improving all the soil properties. And if the soil properties will be improved, the uh, cycling of different nutrients and the one that we really forced to be in good um, shape, uh, like nitrogen, will be more effective. Uh, and actually, we see, we see already a lot of good changes and the good work of biochar and or other organic amendments improving the uh, nitrogen status, uh, not directly, but indirectly by improving the soil properties. And we also see that um, uh, these uh, two elements are really linked together and without proper carbon fertilization, we will not be able to be effective in a nitrogen fertilization. Uh, and um, at the very end, I would just like to summarize that uh, soil organic matter is the most important um, factor driving the functionality of soil and driving the biological life of soil. And we know that uh, the problem uh, will increase in the future. It's a very close future, decades, maybe two decades, when the, we will see the very um, big problem of the organic matter depletion in soils is already visible in many countries. Uh, especially in the in the warm climatic climatic zones, but unfortunately, due to very intensive uh, uh, production uh, food production, we will also force with the problem in European soils. So it's necessary to sustain the uh, sources of carbon for soil uh, and. Um, keep in balance the organic mineral uh, fertilization and mineral fertilization. Without proper organic uh, fertilization, the effectiveness uh, uh, of mineral fertilization with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and all the other elements will decrease rapidly. So actually, there will be more doubts about the effects on uh, and issues related to environmental protection than the effects which are direct to the plant uh, and increase of yields. Uh, so it's very important to make this balance and not forget about organic matter and carbon when we do a lot of mineral fertilization. And in this term, 
and uh, the biochar seems to be a very good alternative to the typical materials which uh, are used for the which are used for the uh, organic fertilization as organic amendments because uh, it's very natural it's organic and the uh, the work that it's uh, uh, done in the soil when biochar is applied is very similar to the uh, native organic matter and other exogenic m matter that is added to soil. The, ad the advantage of this material is that it's very stable. So it means that probably uh, adding uh, biochar once in a time for a, for a longer time, for many years, will be enough. So we will not have to repeat it uh, every year. And uh, this makes uh, this material more sustainable. Thank you very much for uh, for your attention and goodbye.